Hello and welcome everyone in this session where we are discussing most important topics of geography. In today's session, we are going to discuss what is environmental degradation, what are its various causes, and what are various measures to control or to prevent environmental degradation. So, most important question you know environment is often viewed as a basic life support system though it affects and influences the growth the development and the survival and sustenance of all organisms including human beings as you know, our meet, uh, needs, various needs are met by the environment. Hence, we can say that all organisms, including human beings, are dependent on environment in terms of their food in terms of their shelter, in terms of air, water, land, raw materials, minerals and so on. Though we can imagine that environment has a tremendous importance in our life. But in spite of all these benefits and advantages, our environment is deteriorating, do you know? And it's being damaged continuously. So, if we look at the present times, we are not only making the irrational use of our resources, but we are damaging to our environment, day in and day out. So, what is environmental degradation? So, it is often viewed as a process. Environmental degradation is often viewed as a process. By which the air, water, land is contaminated, damaged or destroyed, which forms the core of our life patterns. Hence, we can say that land degradation is the excessive or irrational use of all the resources present on the earth, present on the atmosphere and in addition to that we are polluting it. So what are various causes by which our environment gets polluted by, by which we are making serious damage to our environment and indirectly we are affecting the lives of most other organisms on earth. So it is necessary to become aware about all these causes. The first and the foremost cause of environmental degradation is the growing population. It is viewed as a major cause of the environmental degradation. You know, environment is degraded 
or is deteriorated or is, it is depleted it has been pointed out that it has been done by the anthropogenic activities activities where mostly the people are involved the human beings are involved so the growing population how it creates a damage to our environment it has various aspects in spite of population huge population it is often viewed as an asset a source for any country but at the same time it creates a lot of damage to environment it creates pressure on the resources at the same time which as a result our environment gets polluted and which has a poor consequences which has a very serious consequences on the life patterns of various organisms on the earth number second second most important cause for environmental degradation that is poverty of the masses you know if we look at the present times if we look at the contemporary era most of the population the substantial portion of the population still lives in the below poverty line all over the world talking about india most more than 50% population still do not have an access <laughs> To the basic amenities of life. These masses, poor, poor people, still do not suit your the renewable resources. For example, they are still persistent with the firewood, causing a great damage to. environment and environmental pollution so poverty is also a major cause a major factor in the sphere of environmental degradation number third increasing urbanization you know are urbanization where the people are migrating from the rural areas to urban areas in search of job in search of better living conditions but at the same time it is posing a great pressure on the urban infrastructure where it is causing a great damage to environment so it is also a major factor main important factor in the way of environmental degradation now for deforestation you know we cannot imagine the survival and sustainability of our life without these green forests and if the people are involved in cutting down these forests how you can imagine and how we can sustain our life a recent estimates and recent observations have pointed out that still beyond 33% of the people in india their livelihood depends upon the activities of deforestation they are selling these cutting down these trees and selling in in the in the market in order to earn their livelihood so it, these are serious concerns we must look at our this uh, organization and the government at the 
Tell him of a fierce must. Look at the serious issues. In addition to these social and anthropogenic causes, there are also the natural causes, which are also responsible for the environmental deterioration or environmental degradation. For example, the natural cause in terms of avalanche, in terms of storms, in terms of earthquakes, in terms of tsunamis, in terms of recent wild fires, so they are posing a great threat to the environmental degradation and causing <coughs> the life of most of the organisms who, uh, to a standstill. So, This was all about the importance of environment and the various causes of environmental degradation. And in the next session, next video, we will come up with its various suggestions. What are the various measures, how we can control or how we can prevent this environmental degradation. So it is <clears throat> request it please subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can so that most of the students get benefit out of it until then take care goodbye